scroll lock. Tell me about the bounties. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of the victims. Okay, I don't know about Devic's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime... Get on! Give me your remains! God almighty, y'all are broke. Black vocals. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. Tunipudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! It's you a penki! What on our mamulira? Can't you do a shark? No bully muli raji, Johnny Tun, Turji Chiwi is a do! Bola una dichek! Balamure slimo wanga kun bisching! I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here! Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Hmm, Candorous. Must talk to him. Those Join vulkers are dumber teeth. than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy, come on. Don't, 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 don't leave me like that. Oh, 
<laughs> Come on. Oh, how'd you like that? Oh. All right, level up. Attributes. Charisma. Skills. Again. Computer use. And I need a feet. Add feet. Okay. I will accept that. Give me what's on your dead body. Time to go pick a fight. Oh my god! Fine, Karth! I'm all ears. Which? The fact that I'm all ears? I might consider it, but what. <laughs> <laughs> Sex is work. that it? You can do better than that. Ouch. <laughs> that is better. Well, I bet beautiful doesn't sound so bad in comparison now, does it? Guilty as charged. I bet you still have those questions in mind, though. Are they really necessary? Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why didn't you say so? I don't get testy. I get angry. And if I was angry, you wouldn't have to ask me if I was, let me assure you. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. True. Bastila is as powerful as they say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. Oh, no. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent <laughs> woman I've ever met. Raw. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Trey, bitch. Hold on there, civilian. Only those... Unless you've got the proper security papers, you...
I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me with all those blasters. I guess I should go pick a fight with the hidden backs. Not really pick a fight. I think I'm gonna go kill off the vultures. And team up with the backs. Lower city apartments. Hidden bet lookout. Hey! You can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back bed. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadden. He's a hero of the common folk. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulture gang war, Gadden has more enemies than he used to. We're being... My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years. Well... We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden... Yeah, the hidden Beck's all watching you! <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Standard door. Let's see what I can pillage. Uh-huh. On it. Damn! Okay. It's I'm impossible. Here. That's what I thought. It's fine. Fine! Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? You're too trusting, Gadden. Breshek and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulkar spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my, my book. book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Becks don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. 
Normally, the Vulkers would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. Yay. I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us, we both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Becks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is... Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Sith disguises might give my people the edge we need in a crucial battle. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is... Hmm. Interesting. Lower city. Okay. <sighs> Purchasing a droid. Quest items. Let's see. Um, I need the TV remote or I'll go find it. All right. Do 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 do. Go find it. It's in mommy and daddy's bedroom. Uh. All right. Yes, I'm going to return to my hideout.
seriously, there's r remains right there? Huh, cool. Daya. You're you a bounty. Again. I'm here to collect the bounty on your head. Wait, think about what you're doing. He gets drunk and tries to force him. I guess I have no choice but to stay here and hope Holden cools down. <sighs> ah, screw again. this. Wait, he gets... What's wrong? Arrgh, I must do the evil. And you're going to learn the... <sighs> <sighs> Die. <sighs> Can I pillage your body? Mm. Move, Karth. Can I pwn? Oh well. All right. Man protocol droid. Protocol droid. Man. You got welcome to become. Let's see, close. Hmm. Let me see what you got to buy. Bodan. Bonadan. Six defense, combat suits, four defense, plus fiber blades. Hmm. Viber swords. Double edged, double bladed swords. Short swords, ion blaster swords, percussion frag mine. Permacrete detonator. Alright. <sighs> I guess eventually I need to like upgrade their weaponry. Uh, 